the duty of Dr. Fauci and the NIAID to explore these, these viruses and see what kind of danger they presented because they had already generated two pandemics, the SARS-1 and the MERS epidemic, so it was a very legitimate subject of, of research um, for him. And that was the overall purpose of, of the grant. It wasn't in itself to create the most dangerous virus, it was to explore the, the infective possibilities inherent in the natural viruses circulating in bats in China. Would it be the responsibility of a government agency to make sure that a lab that's getting ultimately federal dollars for this sort of research has the security and safety measures that it ought to have? Apparently the State Department didn't think it did. Well, I think that's a very interesting question and, and pro probably we can't answer it quite yet. I mean, if we had, supposing there'd been a, 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 a virus escape from a, a lab in the US, uh, a lab that was funded by NIAID, I don't think we'd immediately say, well, you and I are responsible for that. I think, first of all, we'd, we'd look to the director of the lab and say, was he following all applicable safety rules? Did he take all necessary precautions? So I think the responsibility lies first and foremost with, with the lab director. And then if you wish to go one step back, in this case, you arrive at Dr. Dashak. He was the principal investigator on the ground. And maybe, though I don't know exactly how the regulations are written, but just to sort of in general terms, you would think he would be the first sort of oversight person responsible for uh, making sure that his sub-grantees, like Dr. Xi, were working in safe conditions. But now if I could take it one step further back than that, as I've mentioned, Dr. Xi was, was working in, in the, exactly the same rules as are followed by virologists all around the world. So now you could argue, well, the virologists have set these rules far too low to be easy on themselves. They don't like suiting up in a bubble suit for the BSL 